In this third activity, we're going to be investigating Newton's second law of motion. We're going to be looking at the effect of force on the sides of an acceleration. So Newton's second law states that F equals MA. In other words, the force applied is equal to the mass times the acceleration. Or put another way, the acceleration of an object is the force divided by the mass. So we can see from that equation that the acceleration is proportional to the force. In other words, a larger force produces a larger acceleration. In fact, being proportional means that if I double the force, I will have double the acceleration. Um, and the, the acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass. So an object with twice the mass should have half the acceleration. So we're going to be changing the force and we're going to be keeping the mass constant. So we're going to be using a trolley on a track like we did in the previous activities and the force that will accelerate the trolley are these masses on a hanger here. I've got 100 grams of mass on there which is equal to one newton of force. So that, that's the accelerating force. The mass of the whole system, so the system is the accelerating masses, the string and the car. Well, we can ignore the string because the mass of the string is so small we can ignore it. We've got 100 grams on the uh, force side and then we've got 620 grams for the mass of the trolley and the flag. So that gives us a total mass of 720 grams. To find the acceleration, we'll be using the data logger again. It will measure the speed at A and the speed at B, and then it will also know the time interval between the two, so it will calculate the acceleration for us. Acceleration is change in speed divided by time. So for the first experiment, I'm going to have an accelerating force of one newton, and let the car go. Reading. I set up the experiment so that the weights obviously are going towards the floor. They don't touch the floor until after the car has gone through the second gate. Let's collect a second set of results now. So I'm going to remove 20 grams from here. So now the accelerating force will be 0.8 newtons. Now I need to keep the mass of the system constant. So the masses that I've removed from the hanger I'm going to place onto the car so the total mass of the system is not changing. The total mass remains the same. I'm making sure that the data log is recording and I'm going to let it go. And now I'm going to repeat that to collect readings for after 0.8 down to 0 0.6, 0 0.4 and 0.2 newtons. So